Suppose phi from G to K is a group homomorphism. We have to prove that if H is a subgroup, that's what this notation means, subgroup of G, then phi of H is a subgroup of K. So here phi of H is defined to be the set. Uh, this is called the direct image of H. And we have to prove that it is a subgroup of K. So proof. So we have to show three things. One, that it's non-empty. Two, that it is closed under the group operation. And three, that it is closed under inverses. So we'll start with one. We'll first show it's non-empty. So since H is a subgroup of G, the identity element in G is the identity element in H. It is an H. Thus, phi of the identity element in G, which is the same as the identity element in H, is in phi of capital H. So phi of capital H is not empty. This is actually really easy here, but it's easy to get confused. Remember, what does it mean for an element to be in phi of h? Uh, all the elements look like this. They all look like phi of little h with h and h. So here our little h was the identity. Okay, two. We have to prove it's closed under the group operation. So suppose we have two elements in five capital H. What does this mean? Well, this means there exists, let's say, H sub one and H sub two in capital H, such that X is equal to phi of H sub one and Y is equal to phi of H sub two. And we have to show that the product x times y is also an element of phi of capital H. So let's just go ahead and look at that product. So then xy is equal to phi of h sub 1 times phi of h sub 2. But phi is a group homomorphism. So this is just phi of h sub 1, h sub 2. And this is certainly an element of phi of capital H. And this is since H1, H2 is an H because H is closed under the group operation. Right? It is a subgroup, so it is closed under the group operation. So we have phi of an element in H, and that's what it means to be in phi of capital H. Three, we have to show it is closed under inverses. So suppose again that we have some X in phi of capital H. Then there exists some little h in capital H such that X is equal to phi of little h. We have to show that the inverse of X is also in phi of capital H. So then Let's look at the inverse. X inverse is phi of little h inverse, and this is phi of h inverse, and this is certainly an element in the direct image of h, phi of capital H. This is since the inverse of little h is in capital H, and this is because h is closed under inverses. So we've shown that the direct image is not empty. We've shown that the direct image is closed under the group operation. And we've shown that the direct image is closed under inverses. So we've shown the three things required to be a subgroup. So therefore, the direct image of H is a subgroup of K. I hope this helps.